What's good everybody, Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors, coming at you with a quick video today. In my setting up camp on a through hike video, I showed this uh, trekking pole tent technique where I hung my backpack from the loop of the trekking pole on my tent. Somebody asked me to just give a little closer look into exactly how I did that and what I was talking about. So we're gonna do that right now. I use the Solplex, you can see right here, I use this on the Appalachian Trail. I did not come up with this idea at all. In fact, I'm going to give Credit to a gentleman named Pick of the Litter, who was uh, hiking with me on the Appalachian Trail. He showed me this at Trent's Grocery, and uh, my mind, blown. <laughs> First thing you wanna do when you get to camp, you wanna find a stick. So you're gonna break the stick, a um, couple inches maybe. So, there you go. A little bit longer than my thumb. On the AT, you'll see this a lot in the shelters. There's usually string with a can of some sort, and then it's connected to this. So think of the string like this it's hanging down just holding this and you can hang like your food and stuff on it uh, so critters don't get to it so it's essentially the exact same concept it's not rocket science so you're gonna take the loop right here and all you do is run the stick through the loop of the trekking pole like that and then you take your backpack I know that my arc haul had a little loop on the back most backpacks have a loop like this all right so we got the loop of the backpack right here. And we're just gonna take it on one side, hook it on, and then slide the stick through. So that way it loops through the actual trekking pole right there. And there you go. You can hang your pack off of your tent. So I usually would just let it drop like this and be good to go. The reason you don't wanna to go too long with the stick is that if it's sliding around for whatever reason, you could risk puncturing the fabric and stuff up here or the bug netting. I never had the issue. I use this technique probably every night on the Appalachian Trail. And you might think, well, why would you ever need to hang your pack up like that? For me, being in the Solplex, which is a very tight one-person tent, it uh, just gave me more space so I didn't have to have the pack in the tent with me or just leaving it outside on the ground where like critters or something could run into it. When the doors of the tent are rolled down on the uh, Solplex, there's a little bit of space in between and in heavy, heavy rain, you could get some splashback underneath the tent and it would just be hitting the bag all night. With it up like this, it kind of keeps the bag out of harm's way. It's also nice because I could keep little things outside my tent, like say a water bottle right here. So if I were sleeping, I could unzip my tent, just pull the water bottle out, take a drink. If it was raining too, and I had both the doors closed, a lot of times I would take the pack and kind of sandwich it right here. And with the doors closed, it will uh, typically stay in place here. And I would just throw the pack cover I had on over that too. So it was almost like a, uh, a third door of rain protection, if you will. I found it uh, extremely useful personally out on the trail. And I assume that you can probably do this with most trekking pole tents. Feel free to give it a shot. I'll give you uh, another little close up now, just uh, how we do this. All right, so we got the tent set up already. We have the loop of the trekking pole right here. You wanna find a stick on the ground. A Couple inches is fine. I went a little longer than usual with mine just so you could hopefully see it better. And then what we're gonna do, slide it through the loop like so. We'll take our backpack. You can see the loop on the top of the backpack right here. We're gonna take that, put it through like that, and then flip this side over that side. And voila. Good to go. Another way you could do it, if you wanted to be fancy with it, because it's so fancy, take the backpack and run the loop through the loop, and then you could just run the stick through like that. Either way, it works. So again, people, not rocket science, but it's just one of those like, why didn't I think of that in the first place kind of things. I appreciate Pick showing me out on the trail. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps you out. I hope you use it on the trail. I've used it with a fair amount of weight in my backpack, like at least 15 pounds. Um, and it's held really good. If for whatever reason you're in softer ground too, you can always just toss a rock on uh, you know, the stakeout point of your tent. If you're using a Z-Pax one like this, um, I always use a beefier stake where the trekking poles are. So the trekking pole here and on the other side, I use a uh, MSR groundhog compared to some shepherd's hooks. Uh, groundhogs just have a little better hold. And uh, you can throw a rock right on top of that stake and uh, you should be good. 
So anyways, just a quick one. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, drop it a like. If you loved it, consider commenting and subscribing. You can follow me on Instagram at Chris Goes Outdoors if you care to. Don't feel obligated. Social media is pretty lame. Plenty more videos to come. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.